the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Jesus is Lord of all the earth. He is the King of creation. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Spread the good news o'er all the earth. Jesus has died and has risen. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. We have been crucified with Christ. Now we shall live forever. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. God has proclaimed his gracious Life eternal for all who be. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Come, let us pray. The living God, joyfully sing to our Savior. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we gather on Divine Mercy Sunday, we take a moment to acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, I therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
glory to God and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest, glory to God in the highest, glory to God, glory to God in the Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. Glory to God and on earth. Peace to people of for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory in the of God, God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of bread and to the prayers. Awe came upon everyone, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. All who believed were gathered together and had all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's need. Every day they devoted themselves 
to meeting together in the temple area and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate their meals with exaltation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. And every day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel sing, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron sing, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord sing, His mercy A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by the power of God are safeguarded 
through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time. In this you rejoice, although now for a little while you may have to suffer through various trials so that the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that is perishable, even though tested by fire, may prove to be for praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, yet believe in him, you rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. Then he, when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins are retained are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and my, my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst, and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Peter, Put your finger here, and see my hands, and bring your hand, and put it into my side. 
And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You have come to believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus, Christ, Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. As I was praying with today's readings, I was thinking, if we updated this, the doors were locked for fear of COVID, for fear of the Jews. We're all huddled together at home. We're all amongst each other. And yet, the Lord is not hindered by that at all. He walks through doors. He walks through everything and walks into our lives today and says, peace be with you. Peace be with you. And then he proceeds to show them his wounds. I have a, I have a friend, he loves horror movies, and when you see somebody come back from the dead, normally it's revenge. Normally it's not a peace be with you type scenario. And today Jesus completely redoes that scenario in our head for us. The disciples had just walked away, betrayed him, ran, scared. They're in the upper room, scared of the Jews. And Jesus walks right in there and says, peace be with you. And they are rejoicing at the fact that they see the Lord. That they see the man the God-man that they betrayed. And they see His wounds and know that those wounds were part of their own sinfulness. Played a role in it. And yet Jesus conquers that and says, Peace be with you. And then He gives us a mission. As the Father sends me, so I send you. Knowing all of that backstory, what's the mission? The mission is mercy. Saying that there's injustices, but claiming the authority of Christ in mercy. Being able to live day in and day out in mercy. In being able to forgive in being able to grow closer to those we are with on a daily basis. Receive the Holy Spirit whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, whose sins you retain are retained. It's to let go of our grudges. It's to forgive from the heart. So that we don't live in, in fear. We live in love. And love casts out all fear. And God Himself is love. And we have from that first reading, we have all who believed gathered and shared things in common, and they broke the bread together. The sense of camaraderie that these early churches had of being with, of going for this purpose against the world almost. Mercy. Divine Mercy Sunday. And then St. Paul's letter to Peter 
God has given us new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. To live for Him, not for ourselves. To be able to receive God's mercy for ourselves and realize I have new life in Him. That I can proclaim that same mercy to the ends of the earth. To my family. To my kids. To my parents. To who I'm, whoever I'm with in the moment. And then poor doubting Thomas. I love how quick he was to believe. He doubted, but how quickly he wanted it to be true. Because his first reaction isn't, oh no, I was wrong. It's my Lord and my God. And Jesus again starts off that conversation with peace be with you. All of us have that tendency at some point to doubt, to doubt the Lord. But to bring that to the Lord, to bring our doubt to the Lord, because we'll very quickly realize that if we can say anything, it's my Lord and my God. So then he goes on to saying, John goes on to saying, there are many other signs done in the presence of the disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, that through this belief you may have life in His name. St. Paul amps that up a little bit and says, although you have not seen Him, you love Him. And even though you would do not see Him, you now yet believe in Him. You rejoice with indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. That's a lofty goal. But yet working it day in and day out, showing the mercy, living in the indescribable, glorious joy of the resurrection, of what Jesus has done for us. We come to attain the goal of faith, the salvation of of our souls through Jesus' mercy. Today, in whatever way that looks like, let us practice mercy. Mercy to our friends, mercy to our past, even mercy to ourselves to be able to allow the crucified Lord to come into my midst and simply say, peace be with you. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. 
and by the Holy Spirit, who was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds to the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life for the world to come. Amen. We give thanks to the Lord because he is good. United in the joy of the resurrection, let us turn to the Father with our prayers. Our response is, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. That on this Divine Mercy Sunday, the Church will rededicate herself to living and proclaiming Christ's mercy, we pray. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, hear our prayer that leaders of governments will act with courage and wisdom in continuing to address the coronavirus pandemic, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all who work in essential jobs, that God will protect them and their families from illness and give them strength to fulfill their duties, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For our young people preparing for First Communion and Confirmation, that they may continue to grow in their faith and see in this community many witnesses to holiness, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. That the farmers receive the weather they need for planting and may the seed and soil bear much fruit, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, particularly those with COVID-19, that the risen Lord will bring an end to the coronavirus and give hope, healing, and new life to those who are sick, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Janice Jensen, Tom Sherry, and Roger Cochran, who passed away this week, and Timothy Walter and David Duane Sokolsky, whom we remember at Mass this weekend, that they may experience the fullness of the resurrection, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, you have given us new birth through the resurrection of your Son. May we now share this living hope with our families, friends, and neighbors. Hear this in all our prayers we make to you and grant them through Jesus Christ, your Son, our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. Forever in your heart. 
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and, that, and those of those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and baptism, they may attain unending happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. petition through Christ, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh in, and in the communion with those whose memory that we venerate, especially with the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Lord Jesus Christ, your blessed and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul and Andrew and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. 
Therefore, O Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole people, which we make to you, also for those whom we ha who have been pleased to give new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, be pleased O God, God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, first chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord. We, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, as accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offerings of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hand of the angel of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. 
through whom you continue to make all these things good, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Our Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom come, thy thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy worthy that you should should enter enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continued effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And bow your head for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son was pleased to confirm on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make your, you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by the living in the right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. 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 And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, all on earth with angels.
announcements. Uh, we will be having confessions from 12.30 to 2 here at SJV, and I'll be over at Blue Earth during that time hearing confessions. And then the Petroviacs are going to be coming and singing the Divine Chaplet at 2? Yes. Yeah, at 2. So join us for the live feed uh, for the Petroviacs. Uh, Divine Mercy Chaplet will be sung. It'll be beautiful and glorious to pray that uh, together. So have a good Divine Mercy Sunday. Blessings. <laughs>